What's going on ladies and gentlemen? I just woke up. I'm here at Aqua Studios. You guys know I'm here whenever I need something for fish related projects, but the saltwater tank, there's a little bit of algae in there. So I'm here to get some the Mexican turbo snails, which are awesome algae eaters, a couple of emerald crabs, and a handful of blue leg hermits, which should knock out any algae issues you may be having now. Yeah, as easy as that. We're gonna do some small emeralds since your tank Whoa. is only 30 gallons. Oh, that thing is sick. Yeah, they're awesome, right? Let go. Whoa, yeah, it's an awesome little crab. <laughs> All right. We're gonna do a couple of those and a small handful of blue leg hermit crabs. And just another one of the emeralds. Who doesn't want to let go? Yeah. I'm just gonna eat it instead. Okay, so he said turbo snails, crabs, things of that sort. A saltwater room. Thank God I've got this light. This light helps me film in here so much more or else I look blue. All the fish are doing sick, but my favorite tank to film is this clownfish tank right behind me. So check it out. Oh my god, oh my god, he munches on you. He's yeah. mean. Yeah. What the heck? He's so angry. It's a mean clownfish. But he's biting me every time he comes up close. Oh my god, the clownfish bites. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my clownfish bite too. It's it's weird. Yeah. I want normal clownfish. Yeah, what the heck? It's, well, there's a, there's a watchman goby and pistol shrimp pair. That goby right there uh -huh. with that shrimp. Yeah. And... I mean, they'll live in the same hole. They'll have a burrow they come out of, and uh... what? So this shrimp and goby apparently become best friends. So is that is that a watchman goby? So that's a watchman goby, and then it's a pistol shrimp. I I just learned a lot of really weird stuff about this pistol shrimp, and it's actually really cool. Um, because when, apparently when it like almost like snaps its like its claw on the left side, it gets to the temperature of the surface of the sun. Sorry for being like educational for a second, but that's really cool. Education versus entertainment. Yeah, right. <laughs> for about 10 years. 10 years? Yeah. Whoa. Yeah, he lived, he outlived. That's sick. There he is. Being sneaky. Uh oh. Oh. And there uh -huh. he is. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this is gonna be a really cool thing. These guys will actually dig a hole, a burrow, uh -huh. from rock to rock across your whole aquarium. So, Gosh. yeah, I used to have a 29 gallon with a steel stand uh -huh. with a pair of this goby and that shrimp in there. And you could get underneath the tank and you could follow their burrow from rock to rock to rock wow. and watch them move around in between all of them. And of course they have a burrow exit and entrance at every yeah. place. And, so the fact that this shrimp and this little gopi share a, like a relationship, kind of like a clownfish would, is dope. Should be very cool. Thanks for hooking it up again. Thank you, buddy. Yeah. See you later. Okay. 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 All right. Snails, a shrimp, fish, crabs, almost a sea cucumber. Aqua Studios is the place to go. Let's get home. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Before we roll the time lapse and the, the montage and all that stuff, I want, I'm gonna do this every video. I want you guys to comment if you've never owned a saltwater fish tank. One, if you wanna own one, and two, what is your dream fish for a saltwater tank? And if you don't have one, go look one up and comment it. I wanna see like every single one of you comment because I'm gonna try and reply to most of them. So yeah, what's your favorite saltwater fish and what's your dream saltwater fish? Okay, fish. All right, so that is good to go. Okay, Victoria's over there. I'm currently just draining all this. So this is a siphon, if you guys are not aware. So that's siphoning down into that, which is draining this so I can do a water change with that water right there. And why that is all happening, the fish are acclimating. And she's over there. 
five hours later. Okay, so I would have filmed that, but I did a complete water change and everything. It's a little dirty right now, and that's just because everything's kind of stirred up. But the heater is back on, the actual filter itself's on, the wave maker's on, the fish are still acclimating. She is, <laughs> okay. Um, so we're gonna let all this acclimate for a little bit longer and then we should be good to go. I just wanna see that shrimp that we got and the little goby thingy because they look alike kinda, like the same pattern. Looks kinda like a candy cane, which I like. And then the betta fish tank and everything else is doing fantastic. Yeah. Okay, those are the fish. So the fish are still acclimating because they acclimate way longer than freshwater. So they acclimate, I believe, like 40 minutes. You laughing at me? Your hair. <laughs> oh. Yes. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Bucket net with the. Oh, there's a leaf. No. Net. Crabs, snails, and I think that's about it. Okay, so actually what I think I'm gonna do is I'm just pouring the water out in here But I'm gonna actually legitimately pick these guys up and put them in the water. Okay, let me get them in So our little crabs should come out. Oh, there's a crab on my finger. Oh, I don't know where it went You suck on right there. A little hermit crab. I'm gonna put I'm gonna put him right here. There's another hermit crab. Those guys are good. My other crab is right here. I am the owner of a freaking crab. He's right there. Well, he's about to start waddling. Oh, there he is. Hey. Wash me and Gobi in as well. So I'm gonna do, pop this open. There he is, he's right there. Oh, there he goes. Okay, that thing is super sick. Hey, hey. All the other fish are coming over to check him out. Look how much life is going on over here. That's so sick. Now we gotta get our pistol shrimp which looks just like that Watchman Gobi. Okay, pistol shrimp, pistol shrimp. Oh, you hear him snapping? Oh, oh, wait, listen. Oh, I heard him. There he is right there. I heard him do this little snap thing. It's okay, buddy. I don't know if you guys can see, but he's hanging on right there at the end of the net. Him and the Watchman Gobi are going to be best friends. It's just getting him off the net now. There he is, he's on my finger. He's on my finger. Ah! I need you to go down and find your Gobi. Okay, there we go. Okay, we got everything in there. We got the pistol shrimp, the watchman goby, the hermit crabs, the actual, the other crabs. Oh, the camera, it's dirty. The actual crabs and I see the crabs kind of venturing around right now. The hermit crabs and the snails are gonna really help with algae. But no, everything should be really good to go. I've also got that top off water. That's in the back of my truck that I get to top off this aquarium with when it gets low. If you guys don't know what top off water is, this is a topless tank, so obviously the water is going to evaporate over time. So when it evaporates, what was that? So when the water evaporates, you guys would think it's a saltwater tank. I've said this before, so if you've already heard this, you can double tap or whatever. But comment down below if you already knew this. Because pretty much when the water evaporates, the water's evaporating, the salt isn't. So if you're filling it up with more salt water, you're just raising the salinity in the tank. That's not okay. If the salinity gets too high, the fish will die. But speaking of the fish, I don't know where my other, I don't know where my other gold nugget clownfish is. I can't find it. Like if it was dead, it, it, you know, you'd see it somewhere on the ground. It's like the fire shrimp grabbed it and took it into its cave and he's gone. I don't know where he is. He's gotta be hiding around there somewhere. But yeah, you have to fill this tank back up with fresh water because when it evaporates, the salt isn't going with it. I'm gonna let that defrost. Okay, here we go. Get ready. There you go. There you go. There you go. Everything is always eating out here and doing really good, but hopefully y'all enjoyed today's video. Like I said, comment your favorite saltwater fish down below or your dream saltwater fish or your just dream fish in general. Make three different comments, let me know. But if you guys enjoyed today's video, let's try and do, I don't know, let's do 4,000 likes on it. I think, I think we can do that, that shouldn't be too bad. But let me know if you're digging the saltwater stuff because I'm, I like it, I'm having some fun. I cannot wait to buy my own house in not too long and just get at it. I'm super stoked for all that stuff. If you guys have any other videos, ideas, or suggestions, any other animals you'd want me to own, let me know. And with all that being said, I will catch you next time on that next episode of Fanatic. Peace.